Every week new Flutter and Dart packages are released. In this video we talk about the top 10 in terms of likes. Among them are a package providing circular animations, a new SDK for monitoring and fixing performance issues, a framework for creating different types of timelines and many more useful packages. Welcome to SyntechOps, my name is Jay and this channel is all about programming. If this sounds interesting to you, subscribe to the channel and now let's get started with the packages of week 47. Displaying, stopping and resetting the time. These are functions known from workout or productivity apps for example. To create a customizable timer yourself, you can use the package custom timer. When I think of radio buttons, I think of boring little grey circular things that don't really need any special visual optimization. To be honest, I wouldn't know how to animate a radio button either. Fortunately, there is a package that serves this small niche, namely animated radio buttons. Like almost every week, there is a new SDK for a payment provider. In this case, you can add the Paytm payment gateway in Flutter by using the package Paytm Caro. Last week, I introduced you to the package Custom Pin Entry Field, which provides you with a customizable pin entry field. And this week, we get another package of this type called Pin Entry Field. This package uses a hidden text field for inputs, which has the advantage that you can also use the functionality of the text field widget. And at the time of recording, the package supports three types of inputs. Pin input type none for an unobscured view, password for an obscured view and custom for an individual view. Dio is one of the most popular HTTP clients for Dart and Mokito is probably the most used mock framework. With HTTP mock adapter you get, as the name implies, an HTTP mock adapter for Dio and Mokito which enables you to mock requests sent with the Dio HTTP client. The developer of the simple animations package, Felix Blaschke, released a new package. It is called SA Liquid and it is part of the simple animations framework providing you with beautiful animations, for example a widget called Plasma, creating this liquid effect. For those who want to use geometry and are looking for something to help them with angles, polar coordinates and similar mathematical topics, the package Super Declarative Geometry might be interesting. The publisher of the package also has a YouTube channel called Super Declarative. I highly recommend you to check out his content and subscribe to his channel. In my opinion, this is one of the best channels about Flutter. Animations do not always have to be linear, as the next package clearly shows. With 14 likes, the package Widget Circular Animator is the number 3 of the week. With this package, you get a pre built circular animator, which can be applied to a profile view or any other widget. If your app is not performing well and you are looking for tools to help you monitor, diagnose, troubleshoot and optimize your app performance, Sentry services may be the solution for you. The new Sentry SDK for Flutter makes it to the second most liked package of the week with 16 likes and this package is called Sentry Flutter. Time is the most valuable resource in life. You as a developer can create tools that help you to better manage your time and visualize the daily events in your life, for example, on a timeline. And that's exactly what this week's number one brings us. With 95 likes, the max amount of pub points and already 60% of popularity, let me introduce you to the number one package, Timelines. A powerful and easy to use timeline package providing you with UI components as separate widgets. Features are predefined but customizable components, vertical and horizontal direction, alternating contents. You can combine the timeline with your own widgets and you can customize each range with themes. As you can see in the left picture, you can use different indicators for different statuses. The middle one shows a package delivery tracking timeline which looks very impressive. And in the right picture you can see how you could visualize a process as a horizontal timeline. So in the documentation we get a small code example. Starting off with the timeline widget which has a method tilebuilder. And this tilebuilder takes a builder 
which is in this case the timeline tile builder and this one has a from style method that we can use to apply different stylings for example for the alignment or for the padding and the child attribute here takes the content of the specific event in the timeline and as we would do in the list view or in a list view builder we also have to provide the item count there is much more to learn about this package or to cover about this package so if you're interested in this one then check out the documentation in August I produced a video about the package Flutter Form Builder which was in version 3. The package has been updated and a lot of things have changed and recently the version 4 has been released and I am already working on an updated video which I will upload in the course of the next week. If you are interested subscribe to the channel to be notified. I have received a lot of positive feedback on my latest videos. Many thanks for that. If you know my older package release videos you may have noticed that I am experimenting a lot with effects and the general structure of the videos. Your feedback has helped me to optimize the quality of the videos. If you're still watching, thank you for your attention. Have a nice day and see you soon.